fate. Ready? Go! Games like Magic the Gathering and Hearthstone are ruling the playing field in the trading card game genre with supremacy. But with this new game, Hand of Fate is looking really interesting and something that this old player was looking for to keep my grueling need for combat at bay. Okay guys, so here's the rundown. First of all, you build two decks. The first deck is the equipment deck for gear and weapons. For your later encounters, you can prepare and build your character up for protection. Next up is your encounter deck for enemy variety, boss fights, and experience grinding. For each encounter is a different battle and tension field experience than the last one, which makes this game more fulfilling. Buying the right equipment is essential during your questing, but also managing comes into play as well. You won't get to max out any one skill, but if you favor one trait over the other, like dodging traps or endurance in battle, then you begin to see this trait come to life in live encounter. The core of the game is a combination of choice and chance. Most encounters will give you a choice, and when you have to make your choice, you'll have a chance. You see what I'm saying? You have to try to sell it, so you can have a success, a great success, or even failure cards. Random experiences are the nature of Hand of Fate. But now what makes the game special is not the cards in itself, but the encounters that come to life. That's right folks, an actual combat system, and a decent one at that. Think of a medieval fantasy mixed with Batman's Arkham City combat. Oh yeah, that sounds hella interesting. And uh, it's not just a placeholder event for empty enjoyment. No, no, no. This combat pulls all the stops that utilizes your gear into battle and has some effects in game. Now the combat might not be as precise as Batman Arkham City, but it works. You have your one button for attack and your other button for a uh, parry and counter. But sometimes heavy attacks or unblockable attacks may come in and you might have to dodge out of the way instead of countering to lessen the blow and uh, keep your health intact. And also there are boss fights which are the best and most intense part of, part of the game. And this is where your investments really count. Come prepared and conquer or die as a weakling. And and you shall gain a most righteous reward. So for the final verdict of Hand of Fate, I'm giving the combat grade a B. Not good, but great. And for the card game, an A-. minus. It's well superb, and it randomizes your outcome all the time. The replay value is a skyrocketing high because you can play this and have a different outcome over and over again, and it differs in every experience. And for the consumer report, buy it at a full price and add it to your collection. This game is a well surprise of 2015, and me, who barely plays card games, enjoys it. Well, that's it for today video but if you want to see more go ahead and click on my main channel Alter Element Games. There I have videos ranging from gameplay highlights, full video game reviews, music soundtracks from some of the best games, and gaming and news updates. Keep it live here at Alter Element Games and visit my fan page on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and thank you for supporting my channel. Cafe LA, peace and love, I'm out of here. Alter Element Games, where gameplay is everything.